time now for a grain market wrap with uh, Tim Rook from Ag Farm. How are you this morning, Tim? Good, Chas. How are you? Good, thank you. Now, Tim, what are some of the, the key take-home messages from the latest ABARES Commodities Report? Um, forecast suggests we should uh, expect to see export values for wheat decline. Um, the world wheat indicator prices forecast to fall to its lowest point in 15 years, which is just reflecting how much wheat supply we do have globally. It's a similar scenario for coarse grains with a higher production. Um, the oilseed market a bit more gifted in the sense that we should see price support on the back of declining stocks. Was that a is was that a surprise the uh, the, the decline in the in, in the wheat price or is it expected? No, not really. It's the uh, we're still sort of it's the same report and the same outlook we've been seeing for a couple of months now. Mm-hmm. Now, what are we seeing production wise for Australian grain at the moment? Um, current figures suggest for, for Australia we should expect to see a 25 to 26 million tonne wheat crop. Um, on the barley, we, uh, we're expecting to see about an 8 to 9 million tonne um, barley crop. And the canola, um, we should see anywhere between 3.2 to 3.5 million tonne. And what are some of the standout prices for Australian grain at the moment? Um, nothing really stands out currently. A new crop wheat and barley has fallen 10 to $15 over the past fortnight. Canola has fallen about $30 over the past fortnight. Um, 15, 16 season old crop markets remain fairly well positioned, but there's been some short-term interest for SFW delivered um, into the Western District and Geelong market zones, um, trading around 275 to 280 range for July delivery. And how is supply and demand looking? Um, for the remaining... Part of the 15-16 season, um, both the trade and consumers seem relatively covered for the short term, with consumers expressing interest for the last half of August and September delivery. Uh, I think opportunity will still exist between now and then, though. Right. Oh, and we we heard the other day that uh, it, it was getting cheaper for Asian markets to buy wheat from Russia as opposed to Australia. How is uh, pricing of Australian wheat faring on the export market currently? Yeah, so quickly, new crop exporting prices from Australia are looking to be very very expensive currently. Mm -hmm. Uh, Russian and Ukraine wheat have been offered about $40 cheaper than Australia for November-December exports into Asia. Uh, We just need to keep in mind a lot can change, however, between now and then, and there's still a lot of water to go under the bridge between uh, now and uh, November 1st when we kick into harvest. Yes, of course. Well, thank you very much for giving us a grain market wrap. I appreciate your time this morning, Tim. Uh, Thanks for that, Cass. All right, bye now.